Jeff Barker always puts his name to everything. Where he's from, not entirely certain where you're from originally. Jeff, where are you from originally? Me, I was born in northwest London. Oh, well, there you go. Landon. You're a Landon boy. All right, well, there we are. That wasn't part of the question. <laughs> but Jeff's here with Jeff Barker's Roots and Shoots, and we've got an anniversary to mark this evening. Yeah, we certainly have. It's this very week. Um, it was February the 3rd, 1959, the day that uh, the Don McLean and his song American Pie said the day the music died. But fortunately, it didn't. The music well and truly lived, certainly in respect of one of the guys that sadly passed away, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens and the Big Bopper. So I thought in the sort of roots in this first little part, I'd do three tracks each from each of the guys. And then the second part will be some later stuff, which they influenced other people. Uh, kicking off with a, a first time play anywhere of of a, of a Buddy Holly track, which has only just come out on a new album. You might think, how are there any new stuff still around? Well, before Buddy went on the uh, the final tour, he recorded a number of tracks on his little tape recorder. Well, it wasn't little, it was a very good tape recorder in his apartment in New York. And he recorded six original songs. He did some cover versions of other people's, but he recorded six brand new Buddy Holly songs. Uh, and in the months after his death, they were overdubbed by an American group of uh, session players, good players they were, called the Jack Hansen Combo. Now, for the first time, uh, this particular track is now out. It's Buddy Holly backed by that group, but it's actually in stereo for the first time ever, which is all down to the genius of a guy called Chris Hopkins, who actually lives in Liverpool. And he's got the technology and everything, because they were mono recorded recordings to these days totally reproduce them into proper stereo not like that stereo reprocess nonsense we used to have years ago and they just sound incredible so this is just one of those six songs that buddy holly did which you may well know because it's been recorded and done by several people over the years but to kick off our little tribute tonight here's the man buddy holly the stereo version which you will never have heard before with the jack hansen combo of peggy sue got married <laughs> Don't tell, no, no, no Don't say that I told you so I just heard a rumor from a friend I don't say that it's true I'll just leave that up to you If you don't believe, I'll understand Song. This is what I heard Of course the story could be wrong She's the one I've been told Well, she's wearing a band of gold Peggy Sue got married not long ago Buddy Holly, Peggy Sue got married, the uh, overdub version in true stereo for the first time. It's a 26-track album on Gloucestershire's Roller Coaster Records run by John Beecher, who's done so much for Buddy Holly over 40, 50 years or more uh, out on, Gloucester, on Roller Coaster, and the album's called That Makes It Sound So Much Better. It did come out 10 years ago, but there was only about 8 or 10 tracks on it. These are all the tracks in all the formats you could possibly imagine. The original mono, uh, the stereo remakes, and they've all been remixed, and they just sound... Absolutely amazing for tracks that started life as just Buddy Holly, his voice and his guitar in his apartment in January 1959. Uh, he went out on that tour. It was called the Winter Dance Party and um, it was a, a very badly organised tour. It was through the freezing Midwest of America. Uh, snow that thick and in, in really unreliable buses, school buses which kept breaking down and all the rest of it. 
And uh, on the very last day of the tour, which was on the 2nd of February, they were at a place called Clear Lake, Iowa. And uh, Richie Valens, young Richie Valens, was 17 years old, was on the tour. He wanted to fly. He'd never flown in his life, and he was fed up with being on the bus. So he flipped a coin with the guy who was playing guitar for Buddy Holly, called Tommy Alsup. And uh, Richie won, put that in quotes, because we know what happened. And it would have been Tommy had uh, young Richie not got on the plane. Richie was on the tour off the back of a massive great hit of his, which I'm going to play now. And this is a wonderful stereo version, which is quite hard to find, actually, but you will know the song. But here's uh, young Richie Valens and that wonderful La Bamba. <laughs> Richie Valen, 17 years old, La Bamba, in stereo, sounding great. I spoke to Tommy Allsup some years back, the man who was playing guitar for Buddy and flipped a coin with him and ended up Richie going on that plane on that fateful trip. And he said he was a great showman, Richie, just for, for his age, he was amazing. And he was a really great guitar player. And he would certainly have been a big star had he lived into the 60s. Uh, and, of course, the music didn't die, did it not? In 1987, Los Lobos had that song at American and British number one, along with the soundtrack album called La Bamba, uh, the biography, the musical biography, uh, I should say the um, cinema bio, biopic of Richie Valens' life, which is worth seeing if it's around something. Get hold of that, check it out. And talking Los Lobos, they'll be coming up in our second little bash batch tonight. Uh, the other guy who sadly died, uh, apart from the pilot of the plane, of course, which was equally sad, was the big bopper who was on the tour. He'd had a great big hit with a song called Chantilly Lace, which I'll be playing in a moment, but for somebody else. Uh, I wanted to play something else from him, because he's renowned for that song, but he was a really talented writer. He was actually a madcap DJ in Texas, and uh, he had the, the uh, longest ever uh, record for broadcasting continuously at one time. I think it was something like three days in a studio. What that must have been like, I really don't know. Do you fancy that, Richard? No, I don't. <laughs> it, four hours seems like a long time sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, he set the record for the longest continuous broadcast at one time in 1958, and he was so popular all in and around Texas. And he wrote great songs as well, and he wrote Chantilly Lace and lots of other things. And he wrote most of his own songs. I thought I'd play this one as well, because you, you, you rarely hear this. Although so a few bands have recorded it down the years. Um, this is the big bopper. J.P. Richardson was his real name. But uh, he was a larger-than-life character, big guy, and a, a zany sort of character on stage. And this is a great song he wrote called Crazy Blues. <laughs> Slam, you walked away, his arm around you, I heard you say, I never loved him, I love it you, Lord, just hey, hey, easy blues, I'm going down. 
downtown to buy a bun. Give me that long black, shiny one. I'm gonna end it, my troubles too. Lord's crazy, easy blues. I made you my queen, both night and day. Snap your little finger and I'd be your slave. You didn't want to wear the crown, didn't want to be queen. You got to kind of love and makes me want to scream. So roll me over, roll me slow. The wounds that I made, they hurt me so. The wounds that you made, they hurt me too. And Lord, it's great. Easy blue. The Big Bob, who so sadly died along with Buddy Holly and Richie Valens uh, this week in 1959, Crazy Blues. Uh, he was on the plane because he'd caught the flu. Uh, the, the plane was originally going to be Buddy Holly and two musicians from his band, Tommy Allsup and Waylon Jennings, who was playing bass for him. Uh, Tommy Allsup gave his plane, gave his seat to Richie Valens after the coin spin. And the Big Bopper got the flu and persuaded Waylon Jennings to give him his seat on his plane there to get to the next gig to avoid another six hour drive through the snow in some ropey old bus. Uh, the Bopper had written, a, had written a song called Running Bear, which in 1960, uh, in, uh, after the guy had died, of course, became a transatlantic number one hit for Johnny Preston. And he also wrote a song called White Lightning, which was a country number one and the first hit for a man who became a country legend called John George Jones. And that's become a, a, a country classic down the years. So I'm absolutely convinced the Big Bopper would have gone on if he didn't carry on singing, would have gone on writing great songs and hits for other people. Anyway, up next, uh, a great version of the Bopper's most famous song, which was in the charts again, Roots and Shoots, in 1972 for the original wild man of rock and roll piano. You can probably guess who it is. That'll be coming up and start of my next little bit. Um, tonight, remembering the sad passing of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens and the Big Bopper this very week in 1959. And we did the Roots part of the show with the three guys themselves and their original songs. Uh, so here we go on to the sort of later shoots. Although this guy was around and recording at the time of Buddy Holly and they worked and toured together, they went to Australia together, uh, it wasn't until 1972, and this isn't a Buddy Holly song, he took one of the, well, the Big, the big Bopper's The Big Song and had a great version of it, which got him back in the charts, which was just amazing. We were so knocked out to see him back in the charts, and to number one in the American country charts, no less. And if ever there was a song that was perfectly suited for Jerry D. Lewis, because it is he, it is this one. Here he is, the man himself and Chantilly Lace. Hello, you good-looking thing, you... Yeah, huh? Now, this is the killer speaking. Do I like what? I sure do like it, baby. A chantilly lace, pretty face, and a pony tail hanging down. A wiggle in a walk, giggle in a talk. It gonna make that world go round. Ain't nothing in the world like a big eyed girl that make me act so funny. Spend my dog on money. I feel real loose like a long neck goose, like a what? That's what I like Huh? Well, I what? Do I what? Well, I what? Can't ever tell, baby I, <laughs> I might But, honey, you know what I like A chantilly lace pretty face Only take a hand out A big girl and a wolf alone A giggle and a talk they're gonna make the world go round Ain't nothing in the world like a big-eyed girl To make me act so fun to spend my dog on money Feel real loose like a long leg goose Like a, oh, baby, that's what I like Huh? 
<laughs> huh, what's that? Pick you up at eight and don't be late? <laughs> you gotta be joking, woman. I thought you might pick me up at eight and don't be late. It don't make no difference, baby. You know what Jerry Lee likes. Chantilly legs, pretty face, pointy tail, hanging down. Oh, we go down a walk, giggle and a talk. Oh, it makes the world go round. Ain't nothing in the world like a big-eyed girl. I, I act so funny, spend my dog on money. I feel it real loose like a long neck goose. Like a wow, baby, that's what I like. <laughs> Honey, you turn me up on this telephone I swear I don't know what in the world I'm gonna do with you You, you yap and yap and yap and yap and yap But when you break it all down You know what I like Chandelier, put it there On it there, hang it down A wiggle and a walk along The giggle and the doggy To the pick and pick and pick and pick and pick and pick no one like him. Never was. I suppose there ever will be. Still alive and fairly well at home in America. The great Jerry Lee Lewis and his version of the Big Bopper Chantilly Lace. Massive hit in 1972. And that year he appeared at the big Wembley Rock and Roll Festival, which I was at. Maybe you were as well. With little Richard Chuck Berry, Bo Diddley, Bill Haley, loads of others. And he did the song there as his brand new single, which was just great. And hi to Richard Myers in Dagenham, who suggested I play that one, which I'm more than happy to. Mentioned Los Lobos in connection of Richie, with Richie Valens in the first little section. They provided the soundtrack for all Richie's music uh, when it was in the, the 1987 biopic of Richie's life. And I said they had La Bamba, the song title, at number one in America and Britain and the album as well. And uh, This was on the movie and on the album. And another great Richie Valens song, and it was the follow-up to La Bamba for Los Lobos in 1987. And here they are, you'll know this one. Come on, let's go. a great band in their own right doing the music for the Richie Valens movie Come On Let's Go song written by Richie wonderful stuff they also recorded a few other of his, his songs as well this final one on this little tribute to Buddy Holly Richie and the Big Bopper is a great story attached to this Buddy didn't take his original crickets who played on his records on the final tour with him he'd split, split with them just briefly beforehand he put a new band together and as I think I mentioned playing bass in the band was a guy called Waylon Jennings who later on in the into the 70s 80s 90s became one of the biggest country mega stars up there with Johnny Cash he recorded and worked with all those guys one of the 
original country outlaws and Waylon became a massive star but Buddy had hired him to play bass for him on that tour and it's such a nice story because uh, talking about the music didn't die in 1973 he was touring and recording with those original crickets and they made an album together and uh, which was produced by Dwayne Eddy and it included this great collection of Buddy Holly songs put together just as the Buddy Holly medley which I thought was wonderful and by that time the crickets were augmented by uh, British guitar legend Albert Lee and a British bassist as well formerly of Blind Faith and family and other groups uh, Rick Gretsch but anyway here's Waylon Jennings with the crickets and a wonderful tribute to his great friend the Buddy Holly medley <laughs> It's all right if people know about the dreams and wishes that you wish in the night when the lights are low. Well, all right, well, all right, we're gonna live and love with all of our might. Well, all right, well, all right, a lifetime love is gonna be all right.
Wonderful track, Waylon Jennings with the Crickets, man who played bass with Buddy on that final tour uh, this week and didn't get on the plane because he gave his seat to the Big Bopper. Uh, well, all right, It's So Easy, Maybe Baby and Peggy Sue backed up by the Crickets and that was from an album of Waylon's from 73 called I've Always Been Crazy. Um, great stuff, all that track, music didn't die. More Roots and Shoots coming up. I did want to say something, uh, Richard. The yeah. news uh, I only found out about today, I think it happened yesterday, the death of Hilton Valentine, lead guitarist for the Animals. Mm, House of the Rising Sun. Very sad news to hear that. I mean, he was a great guitar player. And of course, that I- iconic bit of... Uh, uh, on the front of... Uh, right the way through, I should say, House of the Rising Sun is something that's going to go on forever. And uh, all he ever got was a session fee, unlike Alan Price, who got all the royalties because he put himself down as a ranger. But there we are, that's another story. <laughs> And one we'll probably get to next week. We're going to pay tribute to him a little bit next week. Yeah, we are, definitely. OK. All right, um, here's the Vintage Chart Show Music Trivia Quiz question. Uh, did you know part one? In which city were the rock band The Killers formed? I got it from your clue. Can I say it now? Yeah, please. Las Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah. Val and Graham and Godalman got it right. So too Margaret. So too Elizabeth in Helston. And the reason I said about it being a clue from 1971, in the vintage chart show of 1971, which we played before the 8 o'clock news, at number 23 in the charts, up 10, Tony Christie with Las Vegas, you see. So we did mention it. Part two, from which city did the 70s band Slade originate? Not far from Birmingham, Wolverhampton. Yeah, quite a few people said they were Brummies, but yeah, it was actually... Wolverhampton and Stan in Carbis Bay got that right uh, David in Buffy Tracy got it right and well done to Andy and Corsham who was the first one through getting both those trivia questions correct so Jeff you're here next week with more on the animals Indeed, and more, then. more Roots and Shoots yeah Jeff Barker with Roots and Shoots Rock and Roll Roots and Shoots next Sunday at ten past eight here on the BBC in the South West